Why, hello there. It's your old buddy. It's your old pal. It's your old chum, Mr. McFlanagan. And hi -ya! Oh my god, that kick packed a punch. Let's look at that and see what happened. Oh shit, he got a missile right to the chest. And let's jump straight into the actual gameplay commentary. And this gameplay right here, I think I got it maybe the second day I played, like maybe one of the first games I played. And I made a lot of mistakes. Like you can see I'm getting better at the parkour. I'm starting to figure out how how to use it and how it works. But uh, I made a lot of mistakes when I first started playing this game. And one of them is going after pilots. If you go after pilots that camp roof, like rooftops, you're just wasting your time. You really are. It's pointless. And you know how you see me using the, the C4 Sammies? Uh, the C4 Sammies are good, but they're not they are not the grenade that you should be using. And once you figure it out, which I'm not going to tell you, this ain't a tips and tricks video. I mean, I could tell you a few things to help you out, but I'm not going to tell you the best setup. You need to figure that out on your own. And if you're observant and you watch a lot of uh, commentators and you watch a lot of guys that are good at the game, you can figure out the setup that pones in this. You don't, you're, I, I'm, I'm not going to insult your intelligence and tell you what setup to use. I feel like that's an insult. I feel like most of us are uh, adults or close to adults and we can figure out our own shit. So I'm not going to tell you how to play. But I can tell you the mistakes I've been making. Like, look, look how I'm playing this. I'm basically playing it like Call of Duty. I'm here in this first floor, shooting guys off rooftops. I mean, that's just not how you do it. That's not how you do this game. You rush in, and you get to those bots. Those bots are all grouped up. I mean, they're like three or four at a time. And if you kill four bots, that's just like killing a pilot. So rush in and kill those pilots. And look at this bitch. This is definitely a Call of Duty player. Hiding in a corner in the darkest part of the map, like... Dude, you're being trolled. You don't even know it, by, by, but by hiding in the back of a map or on top of a roof, you're being trolled, son. Camping in this game will get you pimp smacked by a titan. It's just going to happen. And I can't stress that enough, guys. you got to rush in this game. This game rewards you for rushing your balls off. And I'm using this uh, SMG. It's like the only SMG. There's like two. I, it's not the car. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's one of the starting SMGs. R something, whatever. And it's not bad. Like at this range that I just shot that guy, it's not bad. But uh, anything more than that, it just doesn't do enough damage. I, I suggest using the carbine. I, I don't know. I'm not, again, I'm not telling you how to play. That's just what I would do. I'm just telling you what I would do. And uh, this Titan, it's got the best. It's a lot better than any, any assault rifle or sniper in this game. It's got the ultimate gun. Right there, that chain gun is pimp. It's straight pimping. I've been pimping since pimp has been pimping, pimping. And look at this guy, dude. He doesn't even know. I'm just blasting him full of bullets. And this is what I love about a game when it first comes out, is running into people that just don't know what they're doing. It is pretty cool. And uh, I haven't figured out the Titan completely. I've gotten a lot better at it since this gameplay. I feel like it's all about using the right setup finding what works for you you know I like to be able to move I like to be able to get around that's mainly what I focus on with my Titan is getting out of situation and these guys right here are just double teaming me I mean there's nothing I can do so I go to run out and try to get away and I step on a pilot right there <laughs> or militia I stepped on a militia right there and that guy rips me out and chucks me on a roof look at my body damn son leave me alone but uh I just can't stress enough rush in this game if you're not rushing you're trolling yourself i'm telling you if you do not get a titan quick and get out there and get in something that can cover the map because the titans cover the map so well you can get around the map so much faster like look how long it's taking me to get back to the action and that's where you're getting truly trolled but look at this shit i do pull off a nice move right there boom right up into that window pretty sweet huh but uh guys this is the first game since let me think Man, it's hard to think. Probably Gears of War 1 that I've actually had fun. I'm having so much fun. Like, I'm not thinking about all the things that I hate about the game. I'm just thinking about, damn, this is fun as hell. Like, I don't know if you guys are feeling the same way, but I'm kind of addicted to this game. And that's the first time I can say that in a long time is I'm super addicted to this game. Like, it's just too damn fun. And watch this. I throw the C4 sandwich out there, get a hit marker on the Titan. And I'm just staying in this room again. You can't do this. You cannot just stay in a room. It just it doesn't work in this game. If you're taking yourself out of the action, it's fucking over already. And look at this pilot. He just slid in there. I see his little skeleton. <laughs> Where are you going, son? You should be in a Titan. You're, you're, you're being trolled. You don't even know it. But uh, I did get some better gameplays on this game already just from playing it and using different setups. Uh, I feel like... 
this game does take a little bit of time to use and time to learn. I feel like we've all been playing Call of Duty for so long, and we've had that mindset, you know, of uh, get your streaks, uh, head glitches, all this stuff, you know. It's always in the back of our head, and when we play this game, it feels like Call of Duty, but don't, uh, don't let your impressions... Of other games influence this one and I feel like that's a lot of problem too like even on YouTube guys have been uh, hating on this game and I think they're hating on this game because like for instance in Black Ops 1 I could go into a match and I'd get you know 30 and 2 gameplay and that's you know that's really good 30 kills 2 deaths and this game if you get like 10 or 12 Titan uh, pilot kills you're raping you're absolutely raping and then if you get three or four Titan kills you're raping and then the minions. The minions is how you get all your stuff. I mean, 30 minions? This means you still shot 30 targets, killed 30 things on top of 12 other things, on top of 3 things that are really hard to kill. Like, I don't, I don't know. I think the score system is throwing people off in this game. Just because, you know, the points are not, not Call of Duty-esque. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, a game where I go 30 and 2, I win at 7,500 to like 1,500. And in this game, you can win a game, and you win at like 250 to 150, and then all the scores are slightly comparable. Like, everybody's got, like, maybe... I've seen games where guys have lost pretty bad, and everybody had a close close to 38 score. So I think the score system might need a little tweaking, and because when you win, sometimes you feel like, well, I did more last game, I did way better last game, and we lost. And I don't understand it. Like... I think that's the, that's a little bit of the problem with a YouTube thing, but don't look at the score, guys. Just look at attrition points. If the guy gets over, like, 50, 60, 70 attrition points, then you have a good gameplay on your hands. Honestly, I think so, because when I play with good players, like, I played with Fizz last night, which is a really good player. I've played with Call of Duty and him. He's freaking good. And when I play with Fizz and Thunder, like, we all do about the same, like 60, 70, 80 attrition points. Like, we don't... There's not one person just getting all the points and the rest of the guys get slayed. Like, if you're on a good team and everybody knows what to do and you play similar, you're, you're fighting each other for points. So, that's what you have to look at, is what is a good game plan in this? Well, it's something that you get, like, over 50 or 60 attrition points and you're absolutely in action all the time. I feel like that's what it is. And I love watching these gameplays. Like, look at that shit, dude. That is some straight-up action, man. Just because it takes a little longer to kill a Titan, and you're in a Titan battle, and you only get, you know, actually one kill out of that, it's not about the kill, it's about how you got the kill. And that's what's fun to watch on Titanfall, is how did he do it? How did he get the kill? There's a lot of things going on in this game. It's not Call of Duty where you just point and shoot, and the dude died. That This, this has got a lot of shit to it, so... I really do think that this is probably one of the better games I've played in a long time, and that might be a bold statement, but I'm having fun. The game, they did give me some fun, and, you know, as long as somebody doesn't figure a way to bullshit this game, I think it will remain fun. And I would love to see him put out, like, maybe a couple small maps. Like, I know you have to have the Titans gotta have some room to move around, but I'm all about those small maps. I think any actual running gunner is, so... I, I hope you guys are enjoying this game. Let me know what you're thinking about it. Uh, I know this is the phase where everybody loves the game because it's new and fresh and smells like new shoes. But do you think this game will be run? I kind of haven't seen it yet. I mean, Call of Duty's, I've seen those run in the first two or three days. So think about it. I'm thinking about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. 69, ki 69 points, 12 pilot kills. Thanks for watching.